Welcome to another pickaxe tutorial. Today, we're diving into something that will revolutionize how you showcase your data. Building chart-ready pickaxes with no coding required. We're about to unlock the power of pickaxe's code interpreter action. It's a tool that's so intuitive, it's like having a data scientist in your back pocket. By the end of this session, you'll be able to turn raw data into stunning and shareable charts perfect for reports, presentations, or even impressing your clients with game-changing insights. So grab your explorer's hat because we're about to chart into new territory where creativity meets technology. And you don't even need a single line of code to get there. Let's get started and make some data magic. First, we're gonna start off by setting up our pickaxe. Then we're gonna check out configuring the code interpreter action. Then we're gonna check out troubleshooting and testing our pickaxe. And then finally, we're going to enjoy our results. Let's get started. This is our workflow diagram. We're going to think about the end user. The end user comes into our pickaxe with their data source that they wish to visualize into a nice chart. That is our user inquiry. The user inquiry is given to the pickaxe. The pickaxe forwards it over to the connected action, which in this case will be the code interpreter. The code interpreter will do its magic behind the scenes, and then a chart will be generated. This cycle could be repeated again and again until the user is satisfied. Welcome to the pickaxe builder. First, we're gonna start with creating a chat style pickaxe. Tap chat. All right, now we're in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're going to give our name to our chatbot. I'm going to call this awesome chat generator. And then we're gonna give it a description. I already have something planned out, so I'm just gonna copy it and paste it from the, my notepad. And then we're going to input the core prompt. This is generally a good prompt to follow. You wanna set the role and the rules. Next up, we're gonna choose our LLM. For this example, I'm gonna go with GPT-40. After that, we wanna to go to introductions, add an intro message. Okay, after this, we're going to go to the configure section. enter a placeholder text. Then we're gonna go down to creativity and bump it down to 0.6. Okay, we're done with this section. Next thing we're going to do is click here to generate our image, an image for our pickaxe. So we're going to set gonna say brightly colored chart. Generate. Great, that looks good. I'm gonna tap save. And then next up, we're going to go to the act tab. And this is where we're going to add code interpreter. Now, really, it's all about this trigger prompt right here. It's zero code needed to visualize the data that we want to visualize. So we need to put in a trigger action prompt to inform this code interpreter action of what it needs to do when it gets a user query. So in this use case, I want it to use matplotlib or Seaborn to make a chart visualizing the data the user provided and present it in .jpg format for the user to see and download if they wish. And then I'm gonna tap connect. Easy. After that, we want to allow the user to upload any data source that they wish to visualize into a chart. To do that, we're gonna go back to the prompt section or the prompt tab and go to the capabilities and right where it says allow users to upload files, we're gonna tap that to enable it. And right here, you're gonna see this paper clip. If, if the user clicks it, now they can upload data into the pickaxe. Okay, now we need data to upload into our pickaxe so that it visualizes it into a chart for us. For that, I could think of nothing better than NVIDIA. 
and I scroll down to NVIDIA quarterly revenue trend. Click that. And it's going to open up this PDF for us, which is perfect for our use case. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. After that, I'm going to return to our pickaxe, click the paper clip. Then I'm going to tell it where to find the document, wait for it to upload. Great. Now, since it's uploaded, I need to prompt the chatbot right here to visualize the data. And that's it. Let us know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you're looking for more helpful tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you never miss an update. Finally, join us in the Pickaxe community to connect with fellow creators, share ideas, and get support on your journey to building amazing AI tools. The link is in the description below. See you there.